And welcome back to Flexible Games, where we are playing Fortress Craft Evolved. Working on our Mega Factory. Now, this will probably span a couple episodes, but I want to get uh, these uh, machine blocks ready and going. Um, so the first one, Advanced Machine Block, they take the steel and crystal clocks. So the first step is steel. And I think I have one steel plant, but I want another one just for funsies. Uh, let's see. Steel, 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 steel alloy smelter. Yeah. And steel alloy smelter, they want uh, 50 power per second and um, gold, not gold, uh, nickel and iron. So uh, with this setup, good to go. I changed this around a little bit. Because this maxed out at these six here, um, I split it off and sent another pipe down just to make sure we get the full throughput on our crystal clocks. Um, so with this, we have iron coming in like right here and the nickel is over here. So we're one of the things is these steel alloy smelters take quite a bit of power. Um, so what we want to do is line this up, I think, with iron. And we're going to have an iron hopper. Let's see, half storage hopper right there. So we're going to have this as remove only. This will be our iron right here. Um, and the nickel will have to go on either side. Or what I could do, hmm, let me think about this for a second. Um, how do you get two smelters on one supply chain? I could put a smelter there and a smelter there and the hopper other the nickel hopper here, but that would nah I don't I don't want to do that. I want this to be not thrown together willy-nilly like that. So we're gonna put a smelter there and a smelter there. And then another hopper. Well, we can put one, put one back here and here, and then we can share, sort of, between the two. So I could, in theory, do that, and that will bring up quite a lot of steel. Um, and then the output, we're going to output into two big hoppers, and then we want to make sure these are remove only, and these are add only. So there is iron and nickel giving us steel. Now, there is some room to put a steel line on the bus on this side rather than that side. There is some buffer room on either side. Um, in in cases just like this, or cases for cases for this, so this will be going down. Okay, now for power, these things want fifty power per second. So I could slap. Uh, where are they? Oh, I must have gotten rid of them. Oh no, there they are. I could put two solar panels on each one of these. And that would be about 44 power per second, which I think would be enough. Um, do we want to do that for now? Um, one of the things we could do is let's see. Let's see what we need for a organic. So we have the resin just barely, um, and we need some chitin. So let's look at our little menu here. Uh, and grab, no, I don't want all of it. Uh, let's grab one more. So I think it's two. Two of something. It's three heavies, two lights. So we're going to grab one more of those and two of those. And that should give me enough for an organic mm -hmm. solar panel. Ooh. So let's see how much power this baby produces because I might be able to put one right smack in the middle and then one on top of each one of these batteries and that should cover me. So let's see. 
I got so much stuff in here. Um, <coughs> right there, initializing 45 power per second. So we could get away with, oh yeah, we could do this all day. All right, there is the power. We don't have to beam power over these. These, these take the more more power than than the machine block assemblers. So we're good on that front. All right. Um, now we need to bring the stuff in, and we are lined right up with iron. So let's iron it up right here. And where's my my tubes gotta get my tubes so there's iron now nickel nickel is gonna be a little trickier because we gotta hop under a few so nickel is actually right here so let's get nickel set up okay so we want to line it up right there and let's throw some of this in Let's get the supply going first. I'm not sure how many... Oh, no, I don't want, I want to do that. You want to go up. So we want to go... Should have done this side first. Up and in our standard, standard way of doing this. And super build, super build. So that's not moving. Why is that not moving? Oh, I've made that. Oh, no, that's it's actually right. Forgot about that. I'm going to drop down here. And make sure that's right. So we have to do the sort of back and forth. So that goes down. And then this one comes over. One more. And that way. So now we've got nickel coming in. Now iron, and we're going to run out of tubes. I know we're going to run out of tubes. I can see it happening. So let's build some more tubes if we can. We can. Like I said, this is... Uh, I've said in many, many episodes, this is a very tube-heavy build never used this many transport tubes in a game before so there is iron oh I did it again you're going up okay so you're gonna go out like this and I'm gonna super build that and that down in just like that that's my version of a splitter so now we've got iron going in now we need the nickel and it has to um, basically go under the lithium so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop it down so it's under here but then goes up here see and it's gonna come Oh, I did that wrong. That goes up. So the, the, the lithium will be able to come right through and not be bothered at all by this nickel run. And we're going to come down and down. And that will be a future lithium run, I'm sure. So the nickel is going in. We're getting some nickel in. Now we should have some steel bars. So the steel bars are going to have to come down and under to, to combine with a hopper. Not here, but like here. So I want to space it one away. One, two, there we go. Um, and they're going to come down right here. So, how do I want to do this? This is a source. So I could come down, under, and then in the side, down, under, and into the bottom. 
So a little bit of digging is required. Clear all this out just to get the big picture. We want to go under the other ores like that. And then these are going to come down like so. And slime. <clears throat> it's amazing how many slimes there are in this world. I just am continually baffled by the slimage. Okay, so now we can fill this in, fill this in. And hook this up since this is a fresh line we don't have to worry about the stuff coming in from behind so now we're low-grade steel barring it up and I don't need this supply at all I left these walls kind of open for both slimes and myself to be able to jump up and down so these smelt pretty fast and our nickel is able to keep up which is what we want and we are also um, smelting and distributing those just how we want. So the next thing is, um, let's see. How much time do we got left? Um, we want to do advanced machine blocks. So these are these steel bars. The crystal clocks, which we have way over there, um, and I don't think they're very high power per second, so we don't really need to worry too much about that. The other thing I could do is smash it up right against this, so it'll pull from this, and, oh wow, why is this one empty? All the power is going into this one over here. Hmm. That's unfortunate. If this one's full, you should be dumping your power over here. Okay, whatever. It's, it's working. I mean, whatever. I'm used to it. Okay, um, I mean, I could, I could put it right up against there and have it pull from here but this is already on add only so that would really screw that up so we're gonna come out here a ways give ourselves a little space a little less space okay so we need some more half storage hoppers that's for sure um, so I could just bring them over right from here you know I might do that just bring them straight over that might be a good idea. Um, the other thing, yeah, I think I'll do that. Not a big deal. Uh, let's see. We want nickel. No. Low-grade steel, we got that, and crystal clocks, which will come in from behind. So let's put this up here. Let me build some more of these half storage hoppers. These are nice. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we are out of tin. That's impressive. So I want one of these, and then I want to make sure that's open. And the blocks... Oh, and we don't have... We need a few more mm -hmm. huge storage hoppers. Okay, so this is going to be remove only. Remove only, not locked, add only. So now we need clocks, and this thing is 15 power per second, which is totally doable with a single regular solar panel. Now granted, none of this stuff is connected um, to the CPH via power or any other means, and so the world loading situation is a little wonky with that, and I want to make sure that the CPH is connected to all this stuff. And one way I can do that is beaming a laser over and then 
over all of this stuff, like on a ceiling, maybe my CPH will power uh, all my lights that are going to be in the building. Because this is not going to be open air. This is going to be an enclosed space. Um, as soon as I get something like Falcors and stuff like that working, as well as finish clearing all the way to the Overmind. All right, let's process this a little bit more. Get my clocks over here. And let's see here, up. Make sure I know where the clocks are gonna come from. Okay, now we've got an issue where these are lined up precisely with the iron. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go across the ceiling with our clocks. It's an, oops, it's facing the wrong face. Why, oh, I have to, I know what I did. I'm used to super building. Okay, there we go. So the clocks are coming in right here, so we don't need this one. And let's put a large storage hopper right there. And finish these off. This is like that. And in order to be pretty with it, I want to do that and super build it. So now we got clocks going on the over there, which should kickstart. Oh no, we didn't. Uh, we didn't move the steel bars over. And this is the side that's getting all the power, so that's a good. It's a good situation there. So now we're getting the advanced machine blocks. Well, let's make sure. Okay, well, that is unfortunate. Is that the advanced machine? Yeah, that's the advanced machine blocks. So now we're going to do the same sort of thing. Come over here, line this up, and then use the ceiling to move everything over. Like that. So I want to line it up. I actually want to line it up right there. Because these are going to come down like that. There. We now have advanced machine blocks on the bus. Which is an excellent situation to be in. I just want to extend the bus on some of these things. So I don't forget that these are here. It's like so. Same sort of system here. Only these can actually come in from underneath. And these manufactured things, I don't need a double double pipe to supply. Like these machine blocks and stuff. Although I might want to do it with this hardened one. Because that that's a little trickier. So now we've got advanced machine blocks on the bus, ready to go. And the next step is the hardened and the alloyed. And I've got three hardened. How many, what the, what's the power per second on these hardened ones? 15, okay, what's the power on the alloy? 15, okay. So we're gonna build us a couple more solar panels. And let's see, right in here. And I'm gonna need some more tin, I just remembered. Was it tin that was out? Yeah. So I'm gonna go over here and just raid, raid the tin supply. I mean, there is 8,000 right here. That'll keep those busy for quite some time. Um, pro nickel is dramatically low, so let's grab some of that as well. There, that should that should keep us in business for a while. Let's, might as well grab some titanium while we're at it. 
threat level's gonna go up a little bit. Just because of all the smelting that's gonna start. I did uh, build some threat reducers. Built 10 of them. And I put them over here. I built a Mark IV battery on all these. Put some threat reducers and some lasers on there. A little extra beefy backup. And I could probably start um, making some more. I'm running really low on construction paste. Because I expanded the building out quite a ways. And uh, that took a lot of paste. It's like we are good to go on all of this stuff. This is so awesome. I'm loving the bus system so far. It's a little heavy on the on the conveyor belts. I don't even know what my conveyor belt is right now. Let's take a peek, right? Shall we? So we have 3,900 conveyors right now. Pretty awesome. All right. But that'll have to do it for this episode. So I thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.